Welcome to a tutorial video on BitC8. In this video, we're going to talk about tunes and blips. So if you've used BitC outside of the examples I've created for these video series, you may have noticed something a little strange. You don't usually hear anything in my examples. In fact, if you've just jumped into BitC and you played a game, you may have noticed something interesting that I'm now about to play for you. By default, there's something called a tune that is set for the example room. And it's found right here within the room tool under tune right here. Generally, when I create examples, I turn all the sounds off. Part of my reason for doing that is so you don't hear them when I'm paused and talking through an example and they're not kind of playing in the background to distract from my voice. So generally right here, I go to tune and I go ahead and turn off. But available, notice there's Final Fanfare, Tuneful Town, and Rhythmic Ruins. These are all songs, or tunes as Bitsy calls them, that can play in the background of rooms. So available to us are not only these tunes right here, but a tool, I've got tools highlighted over here, for the tune tool. So if you understand music to a better degree than I do, you can create your own tools, or tunes that is, under the tune tool. So if you want to duplicate existing here and change these, you can create loops and play and compose, create all kinds of things. The other thing of note here is also blips. You can create notes and blips and all kinds of things within this. I don't know music particularly well, but this is available to us as a tool. Generally though, and something I want to highlight as part of this video, we can of course tune or <laughs> turn the tunes off. So something to be aware of is that sometimes people aren't, don't always want music with their games, or sometimes we need to give them a little bit of warning if there's music suddenly going to blare out. So generally I turn this off so that people when watching these videos don't hear those things. So we have tunes. The other thing available to us are blips, and we saw a little bit of that as part of the tune tool. We have blips available to us as well, and that's part of the blip-o-matic tool right here. So if I kind of drag this over, we can look at this. And so, that's meow. But you also have the ability to create length and pitch and pick up all kinds of generators to pick up and greetings and bloops and bleeps and all kinds of things. In fact, the default interaction noise right here, notice down here is meow, which is what we just heard. When we interact with sprites, we should hear, except I usually turn it off as part of turning off blips. So we have tunes which can play through a room and we have blips which can, pay, can play as part of interacting with sprites and also interacting potentially with items. So we could make this pick up key. It sounds like that. Although again, keep in mind that a player might not always realize there's music and sounds unless they're kind of told ahead of time. So the other thing I want to highlight here, similar to our examination of endings and the end action, is that we also have the ability through room actions and dialogue interactions to trigger these things as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to come over here and within the paint tool, I've got sprites selected. I'm looking at the cat and I'm going to right here pop out the dialogue tool. I'm going to click add and within the dialogue tool, room actions, or I'm sorry, not room actions, sound actions, and we have blips and tunes. So potentially, if we want to change the room's current tune to Final Fanfare, we can, or potentially we can change it off as well. So if we want to go ahead and change it to Rhythmic Ruins, when we interact with the cat, notice we don't hear anything because I've turned it off, but when we interact with the cat, there's the blip, and there's the tune. So we have that ability as well through a sound action. So we can delete this and the other alternative under sound actions is of course playing a different bleep. So if we want our blip, if we want meow right here, we could potentially play meow when we interact and then play meow as part of the end of that dialogue. There it is and there it is. So potentially if we wanted to create our own tunes that would play when we interacted with particular sprites or items, we can do that using tunes and of course the tune tool. 
We can also create blips using Blipomatic right here, or or and and play sound actions using the blip action within dialog actions. And as we've previously seen, work with branching lists and other way and other lists uh, within that to, to create a tune or switch to a tune. That is, switch to a tune instead of creating a tune. Switch to a tune. Switch to a blip based on the corresponding action part of the interaction. So we have them that we can turn on at the beginning or turn off, as I have right here. And we can do that both through the settings we set for a particular room or a particular sprite or a particular item, and do it as well through interactions using sound actions, using blip or tune, all of which are available to us, either setting them manually or a little more dynamically using actions available to us within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.